Hey, today I want to talk about how do we debrief a team building activity or an initiative. This is really an important topic for those of us that work with students and want to do experiential learning with them. I think a lot of times we do initiatives and team building activities and we do them because they're fun for students and kids love to do them. But the reality is, is that for them to be life changing, for them to be transformational, we have to draw principles from the activities and help students put them into their practical everyday lives. And so for us people that like to do debriefing and team building activities, we really need a good way to debrief each activity. And this is where I know that most youth workers struggle. How do you debrief an activity? Well, the first thing I do when I debrief an activity is I get the students to stand in a circle and everybody to look at me. Uh, there's always the chitter chatter about what went on and there's some joking and fun stuff. I let all of that go on, but when that starts to settle down, I say, students, I, I wanna ask you some questions. I wanna help you get the most out of this experience. And then I ask them three questions. Let me go through these three questions with you. The first question I always ask after a team building activity is this, what was the problem you were facing? I inevitably, some guy in the back makes a joke like it was way too hard or, or you know, we were trying to climb over each other and everybody laughs. But after the laughter kind of stops, ask the question again, what was the problem you were facing? And a lot of times students will say things initially about their circumstances or about um, the actual obstacle that they were trying to get over. But the reality is, is you want them to go deeper than that. You want them to understand what was the real problem that you were facing as a team. Was it a communication problem? Was it a strategic planning problem? Did not everybody know what was happening at the same time? Were we not in unison? Were we not working together? Help students identify this problem. This is the first question. What was the problem you were facing? And you're going to have to stick with this question for a while and go really deep on it. Second question you want to ask is, what leadership principles did we use or not use to accomplish or not accomplish this initiative, whichever was the case? A lot of times students will be able to identify whether or not they used communication or they used planning or if they used um, navigating obstacles or risk taking. Help them to understand what leadership principles they used or did not use. Oftentimes, they failed to use a leadership principle, and that's why they had to do the initiative four, five, six, seven times. Help them understand what that leadership principle really means in their life, how they can use that principle, and what would be the benefits of using that principle in their life. And then the third thing that you want to do is you want to ask students the important question of what you learned today, how does it apply to your life? Because students will oftentimes play an initiative or a team building game and think, man, that was fun, that was really great. But they'll never draw an application for their life. Remember, a good application has a who, what, and a when to it. A student should be able to say, I learned about communication. And they should be able to say, I need to be a better communicator with, say, my parents. And when I get into a fight with my parents, I'm gonna do a better job of listening and communicating with them. If they can make that kind of application, that's a measurable application. And you can actually ask them, did you do it or did you not do it? This will reinforce what they've learned in the team building initiatives and in the team building games. It's really important to ask that question. How does this apply to your life? And when do you wanna use this in your life? So that it can be a measurable application. So when you're doing team building or you're doing uh, initiatives with students, remember to ask three questions in the debrief. What was the problem you were facing? What leadership principles did you use or not use? And then third, what you learned today, how does it apply to your life? These three questions will help you and your students get the most out of your team building activities.